Hey there, it's Adrian from Groundhog, and I have some super exciting news. Our team has been locked away in a basement for the better part of the last year, uh, and even back into 2020, and we've been working tirelessly nonstop on Groundhog 3.0, as I'm sure you've heard by now. We are finally at a point where we have some amazing innovations that we can actually release publicly uh, and start spreading those through Groundhog installations around the world. And we will be releasing feature after feature after feature for the rest of this year uh, until we'll, we finally do the big push and get Groundhog 3.0 out the door, starting with this next release, Groundhog 2.5, which has some major innovations in the areas of contact search, as well as just some general UI stuff, which I am going to walk you through today. So sit back and watch how Groundhog is going to absolutely change your experience when looking for contacts in your CRM. So let's start off with one of the immediate new things that you might notice when logging into WordPress after updating to Groundhog 2.5 is you're going to see the little Groundhog G up in the top right hand corner of the WordPress admin bar. If you go ahead and click on that, you're going to see this widget pop down. Uh, there are currently three functions available in this widget. We will be adding more and uh, as is very common with Groundhog, it will be an extendable feature, meaning third parties and integrations will be able to add their own features to this widget as well. But let's start off with what's currently available. Uh, so we have a brand new uh, quick search for contacts. You'll be able to create a contact and you'll be able to send a broadcast all from this widget on any page in the WordPress dashboard. So if you're on, let's say, a WooCommerce payment and you want to see if the associated person has an email or has a contact record, then what you can do is you can just open up the Groundhog widget uh, and just search for that email address or search for that person's name um, just by typing it in. And that's going to pull up the most relevant contact records for that search. If you want to create a contact, let's say you're on the phone and you're on a buried WordPress admin page somewhere and you don't have the time to go searching for where to add a contact, you can just click on uh, add contact here or create a contact from the Groundhog widget and then go ahead and fill out the information with first name, last name, email address and any tags that you want to add to that contact record as well. And then you can go ahead and click create contact. Same thing goes for scheduling a broadcast. Uh, you can do this now from any page. So if you just forgot, maybe you're late for something and you just need to send an email off right away, you can go ahead and go through the entire broadcast scheduling process from this one widget without ever leaving the page or having to reload, which I think is super cool. So that is the first major UI improvement that you'll see, but this is actually one of the lesser ones. This is a small improvement versus what I'm about to show you, which is our brand new search filtering system, which I will cover deeper in another video because there's just so much cool stuff going on with there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and open up our CRM going to the contacts page. So the first thing you'll notice is that the advanced search button is gone. That So no more big white box with uh, 10 or 12 search filters there taking up the entire screen. Uh, we wanted to minimize the amount of space that searching takes up. Uh, and we've done exactly that with our brand new search filtering system. So instead of the advanced search button, what you're going to do is you're going to click on filter contacts. Uh, and that is going to start the search filter function. Uh, and what you're going to do is click on the little plus button and we can start adding filters. Uh, so let's say we want to see anyone who has a specific tag. We can click on the tags filter. Uh, and then we can say includes or excludes any or all. So we just want to say includes any let's see, enrolled in a membership. So if we want to see the number of contacts enrolled in membership, we click that little check mark button, and then it's going to say show two contacts. We can go ahead and click on that. And that is going to bring up the two contacts that have that tag. But let's say in the same search, we also want to see contacts that have enrolled in a course, but we want to see both of those in the same search. Well, immediately under this one, there is an or with a line and we can add another filter. So we want to say tags includes enrolled in course. And that is going to bring up another couple contacts. So we can see that we now have this or and capability. 
Uh, you can add additional filters to the same row. Let's say we also want to see who the contact owner is, sales at groundhog.io. So enrolled in membership and their contact owner is sales at groundhog.io, or their tags just include enrolled in course. So you can see how this would enable you to create some super awesome and complex queries. And I'm going to cover this again, as I said, in much more detail in another video. But that is just a taste of what the new contact search filtering will be able to do. So we've done completely away with the old search, and this is now the new search, and it's going to enable you to find exactly the context that you're looking for on your list. So you'll also be able to save these searches, of course. So I can go ahead and click on Save Search, and I'm just going to name it Demo Search. Save. And you're able to even go ahead and edit these filters after the fact and then update the filters. Uh, if we close this, you can see that there's a lo load saved search button, which is then going to bring up all of the searches that you've saved. And you can see that our demo search too, which I've just created is there. Uh, and you can also pull up any of the other searches. So let's say I want to pull up this search here. So this is a search that I've created previously, but let's say I want to go ahead and edit it. Then you can click on edit filters. And then you can see that I can then go ahead and edit any of these filters. So let's say I want to remove this tag condition. It's then going to update the number of contacts that match this filter. I can then go ahead and click update. And that is going to save the current state of the filters to that save search. So I don't have to create an entirely new search. So this is pretty cool. This is by far the, uh, the biggest update coming in 2.5 and something super, super exciting. And uh, we are going to be adding more filters to this. And also, as I'll explain in the other video, that we are going to be using this filtering system for much more than just searching. So stay tuned for that. Uh, moving on to the next UI improvement that you are going to experience on this contacts page, which is where we focus a lot of our effort for 2.5. Uh, is in the quick edit. So if you're familiar uh, with Groundhog right now, when you click on quick edit, it like replaces the row and it's kind of hard to see and there's scrolling involved and it's just not a very lovely experience. Now, if you go ahead and click on quick edit, what you get to do is this modal will pop up with some of the information. There'll be a link to the edit the contact profile. Uh, and you'll notice that there's no save button. So any changes that we actually make here are going to be auto saved. So let's say I want to uh, change their opt-in status to confirmed here. I can go ahead and do that. And then you'll see in a moment that there's a little pop-up comes down, contact updated. So it's completely automatic. I don't have to think about it. I can just make the change. I can remove tags uh, and everything that happens. I can even go ahead and close this and you'll see in a second. There it is. There's that little co uh, contact updated uh, drop down there. Dialogue, I think it's called. So that is the next UI improvement is this nice quick edit, which just makes it super easy to quickly edit contacts. So let's go ahead and close that. Next thing we want to, I want to show you is, uh, we make mistakes. We click the wrong thing. It happens. Uh, so you're going to see this in a lot of areas, but the delete, uh, links for a lot of things are now going to be protected. So if I go ahead and click delete on this contact, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to delete this person? And then you can either confirm that or you can cancel the action because no, I don't want to delete them. We misclick, it happens. Uh, and we want to make sure that, you know, you're absolutely sure before you take an action, just so that you don't end up deleting something that you shouldn't have. So that is the 2.5 update in a nutshell, uh, a preview of things to come. Right, So this isn't everything that we've worked on for like the last eight months. This is a small fraction of what we've worked on. There is so much more that I want to share, but I'm just unable to. But I can promise you that immediately after 2.5 comes out, it's just going to be nonstop update after update after update, which is really going to elevate uh, Groundhog as a CRM and marketing automation solution for small businesses using WordPress. Uh, it's going to make the best CRM and marketing automation platform for WordPress even better. And I'm just super excited about it. You can probably feel my energy through the screen. Uh, so I just want to say thanks for your patience. It has been a wait. I acknowledge that. But you have no idea how much work has gone into the back end of what I'm showing you today. And as I mentioned, this isn't even a fraction of the work that has gone into 3.0, which is coming out real soon uh, because we're like 95% of the way there. We're starting to 
pull features out of it and release them uh, in pre-updates like Groundhog 2.5. So it's just it's just really exciting. So thanks for your patience. Thanks for bearing with us. Thanks for being a Groundhog supporter. You're awesome and have a wonderful rest of your day.